They'll be calling you a radical. Uh, my dissertation continues. Sorry, I got cut off on there. Phone call come in. I had to get tired. Now back to it. But the emails that I'm getting out of Japan that there are over 4,000 of the so-called Fukushima workers are already dead. So I go back to Chernobyl. I go back to Chernobyl. And the way that played out when I was going, I was heavily involved in that, but we didn't have the media sources that we have today. It was hard to get information anywhere, anyhow. And, you know, nobody really knew that Gorbachev was doing the big entombment and, and bringing all the men in. I mean, getting to the core and doing the entombment, you know, 500,000 men over plus. And so many of them dying early in the evacuation zone. By the way, that right after was not very old. And so now I'm seeing that this is playing out the same way. But their cover-up was so more more sophisticated about as the World Health Organization, the UN, the IEA, Cal Berkeley. Cal Berkeley has orchestrated this. Is it killing as many as Chernobyl? Many, many more than Chernobyl. Well, my work shows that Chernobyl's killed north of 40 million. Well, I was in the hospital fighting for my life. Our leukemia gets people from all over the world. There was a young girl from Chernobyl, very young girl, 22 years old. Beautiful young little thing. She passed April of 2012. She was going to do my gig with uh, when I did mine with the hanging out of the chest and did symphony with Pussy Riot and Femme Anne on the Pussy Riot day, you know, and hanging. And she was going to do that with me, but she passed. It kills for thousands of years. The Pacific Genocide, how bad is it? We don't know because Berkeley's lying to us, but we know it's pouring in. Now, the entombment is going on. I mean, you think about it, the same thing. The Cold War 3.0. I mean, the cover up. Come on, Japan is the United States. It goes back, that's what we're gonna do with the Enola Gay Hangar. Come on, it goes back to there. Read the treaties after we drop the two bombs and they surrender. Read what those treaties say. We are Japan. The United States is Japan. Period. TEPCO, Toshiba, Westinghouse are the same. They merged by each other. You know, are they under, uh, yeah. Secret nuclear weapon programs, we know that factually in three or four. Mox fuel, why else would Mox fuel be in Japan? Come on. What do they use Mox fuel for? Nuclear weapons. This all comes back into the same thesis, but it still comes down to integrity among men. Now, a person who stands up who has a platform like Oppenheimer, no, oh, do you mean, you mean McCarthy and the lunatics? They change his place in history? Absolutely. He tells me, the professor at Japan, I can't even repair his emails, I can't even reprint his stuff because in fear for him. I would get hundreds of emails out of Japan a day, literally hundreds because I'm the only one screaming. Everybody that was anybody was coming into me. Now this is my classroom and we're going to take this. So my 311-11 symposium, as I said in the other video, will be in Wendover, Utah, Nevada, for some very good reasons. This is this, the whole mock-up there, the whole gig, the practice runs, the Nola Gay, all of it there. You know, I, it's my home, it's my place. The Japanese emails that I'm getting, in that you know, the mob is really running the show there. They're hiring, they're taking older people. They're making them sign full disclosure, non confirmant contracts. The gag order is very real over there. They're incarcerating people. I was telling this in detail because I graduated right here at this school business. I taught here. It was an elite, elite school, a lot of Japanese. I have a lot of relationships with a lot of Japanese people. They can't even speak. I don't get any emails anymore. Once in a while, somebody will leak one through me and I'm like, can we get some bootlegged video somewhere in Japan of them tunneling under? They claim, he claims that they are tunneling under news and thousands and thousands of workers. He says over 4,000 deaths. So here we go back to Chernobyl. That's exactly how Chernobyl played out. Exactly to a T. The IEA and the propaganda machine and they fund these people. These people that are coming out with these articles, whatever, they're being paid. They have an agenda. Now granted, there's just some morons who just go with it. But this is a propaganda machine. Eric. Lax, Peter Gale, by the way, their personal friends grew up with that pedophile Woody Allen. It comes back. It all comes from circle of these psychotic sociopaths. It still comes down to men. The men who made the decisions at Berkeley to not even have the argument. Not even have the argument. Not even let it balance out. 
here at these universities, at the University of Utah, we, we can't even have these arguments anymore because hook, line, sinker, they're all in. Oh, clink holes and oxymoron, you know, oh, nuke, you know, nuke, you know, nuke. I mean, it's insanity. Just the fact there's no answer for the way. Carlsbad leeching, yeah, right on to Georgia, where he just gave another giveaway. Barry Antoinette, let them eat cake, yellow cake. We have to tell this tale in a dissertation type style. Yeah, I did it acute, 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 right here at the pond. Now remember this, I'm gonna tag this video. This is still my favorite video ever did. I did this video on 3-15-11. I stood here, the media's lying to you, the media's lying to you. And if you don't believe the media's lying to you, when they pinned up the medals on Jessica Lynch, when they told you that Pat Tillman waved his body like a flag, was fighting off about when they was an executed murder. When Colin Powell stood in front of the UN and lied his ass off, don't trust them. Don't even trust the Pete likes of Chris Hedges as Naomi Klein because in the early days even they drank the Kool-Aid because it's all about their wealth and their status. It still comes down to integrity among men. I That video, you, I could put it up today. Now I did this just the other day. I found a video that I did the morning of 3-14-11. I did two videos that day, which I do that all the time. Sometimes I don't put them up. And I didn't put that one up for some reason. I found, oh, wow, and I listened, I thought, God, what a great video. So I punch it, and it goes to my subscribers. I could tell by the comments they thought I did it that day, almost three years later. As Dave Parrish did the video about me, he says, Groundhog Day. It's a great video. Dave Parrish is great, by the way. You know, there's been a lot of good freelance. We know who our little army is. We know who we are. So I'm going to, my 311-11 symposium there, then back to, I'm back to San Francisco. We'll have our Geiger counters. We'll have our Geiger counters at Berkeley when, you know, because this whole dog and pony show is being run out of Berkeley. Is John Holdren, who's been running the show, a eugenics guy? Yes, absolutely. Was Oppenheimer a eugenics guy? I don't know. But he was sure anti-bomb. And what they've done to him at Berkeley makes me sick. Now, my radio show, I really will dive into Goffman and Berkeley. And the fact that Cal Berkeley and the academia world, I mean, you, you're talking people that make a lot of money grandstanding this issues. You know, I, I emailed her yesterday. I'm sure she's pissed off at me, the head of the so-called Oppenheimer Foundation at Berkeley. I says, how do you like being the nuclear cartel's whores? I mean, they killed Oppenheimer. Berkeley, Berkeley, he hated their fucking guts. They blackballed, he was anti-bomb, he was anti-bomb, he was anti-bomb. Same with Einstein, I love how you guys put this whole contemporary thesis about, you don't even know anything about Einstein. We'll talk about that a lot tomorrow too, what the nuclear cartel did to him. Destroyed him, he's Sokarov, you know, all of me. I mean, Sokarov won a Nobel Peace Prize, rightfully so, not like Barry Antoinette's. I mean, the whole thing's been captured and you try to rewrite history, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you rewrite history. I'm gonna tell this. And my poster are gonna say, you know, people know that have watched my videos from there. This is the classroom, my classroom. My PhD out in the street, that's where we'll meet. We're gonna talk about this in detail. My radio show will dive into Oppenheimer really deep tomorrow. And Goffman. And Berkeley's, you know, Berkeley used to, used to throw a little bone to the anti-nuclear John Goffman. You know, different people that would try to counter the not anymore, all in, hook, lines. Why? Money, come on. Just like the marine biologist department. I read the, I read the data online because my whistleblower gives it to me of the air and water monitoring. Remember this, they're releasing the air and water, man. We're showing it, the plume hit there in the early days, just like I said, stood right here, just like I said, it did. And we're showing the grotesque high levels. That was never reported until years like, oh yeah, we, 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 we were tracking the milk all day. Yeah, but they weren't putting it out until I freaking got a leak in red and then it magically appears. Goffman, 1090, right at Berkeley. He told you that's what they do. The new norm, death via cancer. Because the nuclear cartel is Illuminati. No, not the word Illuminati. Bloodlines, power structure, absolutely. Which has always existed in human history. But we have had men with integrity who have fought back. John Kennedy fought back anti-nuclear. Bobby Kennedy fought back anti-nuclear. Martin Luther King fought back anti-nuclear. Hardcore. Oh, Megan Rice, the protege. The last of the great anti-nuclears. Dr. Rice's daughter. Dorothy Day's protege. The great lineage. Not only did she... She went and did what she did. I mean, Flosher's wanted to do this for 30 years, the head of the snake at Y-12. I mean, plutonium that big to fit on a pin. 
1943. How much they got out? How many times you got to blow up the earth over and over and over? How many people you got to kill? When we Gorbachev and Reagan signed the Non-Proliferation Act, we're, we're violating our own laws. But here's the vile part of the Megan Rice's thesis: not that she's doing time. I mean, she knew she was going to do time. Not she said, I don't want any special treatment. Michael and Greg, they did what they did. But here's the vile part, and you could see it in Megan. I was in that courtroom. It wasn't the same Megan Rice. She was violated because of this. They did not allow them out on bail awaiting sentencing. Peaceful activists who expose that you're being robbed on the security private to AC. Held in a federal detention center, 55 nearly killed, tortured, tortured for nine months. Awaiting sentencing. Credit for time served. Yeah, maybe they it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's the whole thing. Why did they not let her out of bail? That's the Constitution. You can't. I mean, this is a peace flag. She didn't do anything. They let freaking murderers out on bail. Sabotage terrorists? Really? I mean, it's the greatest story that no one's talking about and no one's telling. Now, when I travel around and do the, I, I really specifically pick these. And our small army, we know who we are. As we find, you don't have to travel. That's what the beauty of this camera, because. To connect the dots, absolutely. To tell this tale in truth and history, yes. That's why at Diablo Canyon, standing there at the pier in the gate. Yeah, you can't get up the canyon. Seven mile. They ain't gonna let nobody in there. But you can direct in your mind. That's how I teach. That's my style. That's what I did before I was blackballed. Before I got cancer. I mean, give it too much to live. This story is amazing. The murder of my father. By Cal Berkeley murdered my father. I can prove it. I can prove it. I love how they grandstand Oppenheimer. It's pathetic. Oppenheimer hated their guts. Oppenheimer, the Bikini Atolls. That's when the split came. He's no, 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 no more bombs. No more bombs. No, no. Oh yes, yes, yes. Kennedy, no more bombs. No more bombs. No, no, no. Oh yes, yes, yes. The power structure there be. Bobby, no more bombs. Mark, no more bombs. No more. Yes, yes, yes. The power structure because it is the greatest representational, figuratively and intuitively and representatively, literally, to threaten people, to hold power structures via bloodlines, the royals. It's the easiest way to do it. Nuclearism is the way, it's the cash cow from hell. We don't use any of it. It's all for weapons and it's all to threaten people. Oppenheimer wrote a lot about it and he talked a lot about it. He died a very miserable man. So did Einstein. They were anti-bomb. They were all anti-bomb. That was in 1960s when they came out hardcore anti-bomb. Late 50s. Oppenheimer became anti-bomb as soon as the Germans gave up. But the Japanese wouldn't give up. I mean, let's get real. Let's get real. They would not give up. How many young American men were being killed in Japan every day? They wouldn't give up. Was that the Japanese people's fault? No, it was this power structure there be just same thing we're talking about and, you know the shoguns that same pyramid in, that existed in Japan the emperor he didn't give a fuck about his own people just like our power structure don't give a Barack Obama has no power because we don't have many anymore and you can understand why I mean John Kennedy stood up look what happened to him they know that they all know that you know it's tough you know it's like the Dean said down there in California told me, he says, Kevin, I think you're so anti-nuclear and so hardcore and have been for so long that they mailed you leukemia in the mail. Because they didn't have to, they mailed it to us all. It's called the jet stream. You know, the bananas people, all this stuff, it's hitting Vancouver now, can't from wood holes, you know, all these people. I mean, keep doing what you're doing. It's karma, fuckers. It's evil, it's sad. I'll do this in more of a dissertation type style and a lecture type style. We'll build our little post ignorance art because we're not about Quality, we're about quality. We want people to understand and the young generation to get involved and tell history in factual detail because academia is not going to tell you anything about history anymore. They're going to lie their ass off, protect their ivory tower and their glass house. The marine biology departments all up and down the coast, why have they not been in there for three years? Most of them don't even know how. They've never been in the ocean. They're titles and names. Just like her down there at Berkeley. You know? Oh, yeah. We're. We're Robin Oppenheimer Foundation, our symposium. Yay, 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 Oppenheimer win. Berkeley killed Oppenheimer. Fuck. Robin Oppenheimer hated Cal Berkeley with a deep-rooted fucking passion what they did to him. He was anti-fucking bomb. 
When you fuckers finally understand what's going on, you'll understand that the banking cartel is a church mice compared to this one. Are they eugenics people? John Holdren sure is, he's been running the show. Are they over there? Yeah. Do we know that, my, the, the word I'm getting is over 4,000 of them already dead. 4,000, just like, exactly like Chernobyl was. They're in there. Oh yeah, they're in there. Is it working? Absolutely not. You know, they're not dealing with one blast that blew up in the air. They're dealing with full, th three full, which is really seven full core meltdowns. Number four's got spent shit all over. Five and six got issues going on. They got freaking moxie fuel all over. They, they, you know, trying to dig in, trying to entomb, trying to use nanotechnology, trying, trying is all they're doing. And we know because of the data coming out of the wells, the trinium wells. I'll tell this tale. I'll lecture this. Nobody's going to let me in a classroom anymore because this is the Queen's universities in America anymore. You know, maybe I'll land in Europe doing my lectures. Stand tuned and listen to my radio tomorrow. We'll really dive into Berkeley killing you and the murder of my father. Cal Berkeley murdered my father and spit in my mother's face. Gave her not one penny and mutated into my body into leukemia. I mean, I think it's unarguable. The Fukushima hammered Salt Lake and then, you know, my thesis that it came into my body and then I, I mean, come on. I'm living, walking proof of what the nuclear cartel does to humanity. Mutate us, kills us, kills us. Before you're even born. I mean, it's evil. It, it is the greatest evil thing. Oppenheimer said that. They all said that. It's beyond evil. Stan Tuna will dive into this really deep. 311 11 went over Utah, then back to San Francisco. And we'll protest at Berkeley. We'll try to get, you know, some people involved, maybe a couple of students. And, you know, we'll do what we got to do as far as, you know, I have some connections down there. You know, it doesn't matter if there's two of us or 30 of us. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. Few, few people are the ones who make differences in truth and reality. The American Revolution tells us, the French Revolution tells us this. We know this in factual detail. Things happen when they happen, they're small. And they're rooted in art, they're rooted in the soul, they're rooted in burning through you. That's why I've done these the way that I've done them. I mean, I think there's some of my videos that you can watch that you probably could turn the sound down and get the entire message through without even hearing a word I say. That's what great art does in change, in transforming. Megan Rice a transformer, trying to be a transformer. She's done our part. I don't want to be an earth crawler or an earth sucker. Of course, in spite that I was ever born to set this right. I'm not going to let him murder my father without fighting back. I'm not going to let them try to kill me, wipe out all my money, wipe out my academia career, wipe out my derivative trading career, wipe out my soul, my humanity, try to kill my children or my grandkids without fighting back. Oh no, I'm fighting back, but I'm going to do it articulately, artistically, and intelligently with this camera because this is a powerful genre and you people can listen, you can watch, and you can make up your own minds and you can educate and go along and you can change the world. Each one of you can change the world. Stand tuned.